What is going on everybody? I hope you are all having a great day. So I thought it would be a cool video idea to put $150 into Facebook ads for my pressure washing business and see how many leads I could get and ultimately how much money comes from that. So the ad I ran was just a 25 or 26 second uh, time lapse video of me cleaning a driveway. So I'll, you know, that's probably playing right now. So uh, I was that and then the caption or the copy was basically like, $199 driveway and uh, front sidewalk cleaning special and then obviously you know work some magic in that in that copy and made it a little better but um, so the results um, for $148.68 of ad spend I got nine messages at $16.52 per message so that's that's pretty decent um, you know you could get better results you could certainly get worse results that's a little bit higher than I like to be, but it's still in the sweet spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through all the messages and show you guys how it all works. So the first message I got was from Rebecca. She wanted, so where it says, uh, hi Rebecca, please select a prompt and a team member will be with you shortly. That's automated. Please check if I apply for the 199 special. That's automated as well. Uh, we would be happy to check if you apply, blah, blah, blah. That's also automated as well. So after that, she sends her address, and that's the beauty of setting it up with automation that way, is that by the time I check my phone, I'm looking at her address. <laughs> then all I have to do is click on it, go to Google Maps, and I can get her a quote. And so she ended up, um, her driveway was a little bit bigger than I wanted to do for just 199, so I said 249. Uh, she asked if that included the sidewalk, um, and it did. Uh, and not the street sidewalk because she didn't even have any, but just like a skinny front walkway going up to her front door. Uh, and then she asks if um, she has cracks in the driveway, if that's going to do further damage. It doesn't, but I do say it's going to show them a little bit more because when you clean around it, they're a little bit more obvious, right? And sometimes you'll, I've run into people before who think I put the crack in the driveway just because it's more obvious once it's actually cleaned. Um, thankfully, I had before pictures, so it wasn't a big deal. But yeah, let that be a lesson. Always take before pictures. And so yeah, that was actually the first message I got from that ad. So, so far, 100% closing rate. Don't worry, it goes down. But uh, so that would be $249. So, so far, so good. Okay, after that, we had Scott reach out. He wanted a quote for uh, his driveway and sidewalk. And I actually still haven't gotten back to him. So I need to do that. But that's a potential job as well. Okay, this next dude, he clicks the prompt, please check if I apply. Our automated response comes in and he doesn't respond. So um, that definitely, that can happen. It does happen a lot. Um, at this point, I'll probably wait a couple days and then be like, um, hey, you still interested in getting that quote? Um, you know, something like that. So, and if he doesn't answer, I'll follow up again. And if he still, I'll, I'll follow up until he either blocks me or um, we get a response, so. All right, next up we have Cheryl. So Cheryl reaches out and she wants to know if she applies for the special. And she does not apply for the special. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get her a separate quote. And I might even spruce it up and say, you know, hey, since we're running that special and your property was too big, I'll throw in 20% off of our regular price. You know, something like that. Spruce it up a little bit, make them seem like, make it seem like they're still getting a deal. Um, so that's a potential one there uh okay and then we so if you look at this one swell in what i don't sue ellen we'll say sue ellen um the only reason i would send that message because it's automated is if she clicks on the ad so she clicks on the ad uh my automated thing comes up and she goes i'm not interested okay you'll get that too it's weird it's like yeah you're obviously somewhat interested because you clicked on the ad and that's the reason that sent in the first, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay. Then we have Gloria. Gloria clicks on our ad a couple times. Hey, I have a question about your services. Yeah, we're happy to answer and no, no response. So uh, this is one I probably wouldn't even follow up on. I could, if I got desperate, I could follow up, but probably just a time waster here. Um, okay, so now we have Pat. So Pat wanted to know if she applies for the 199 special, and if not, could I give her a quote? So she probably, I, I remember this being a bigger driveway, so she probably already knew, like, okay, yeah, I'm probably not going to apply. It's like, hey, 
basically let's your driveway's too big for our special but uh, i could get you in for 299 does that include the walkway yes it does ended up landing that job for 299 so uh, with that in the first one we're now at 549 okay so next up we have kathy she wants to know if she applies and um she wanted a quote but she doesn't want it done until you know later on in the year and so probably end up landing that one but right now it's kind of relevant so okay now we have jack now jack jack was a negotiator man so uh he reaches out interested in getting a quote for my driveway sidewalk and front porch so this was in response to that ad um, but he actually didn't click the um please check if i apply for the special thing so uh basically told him great i just need your address and then kind of clarified some things i go okay i'll be at 349 uh and he says no thanks uh i will keep looking for a bid aka too expensive and so at first i was like no problem good luck with your search and have a great evening right keep it respectful keep the door open um, and then the first, if you'll remember the first one I landed for 249, that ended up being like right next to this dude's address. And, um, so I basically reached out, I was like, Hey, like, I'm going to be right next to your house. Um, I, I can take a hundred bucks off. Let's go ahead and do it. Right. And he still negotiates, right? I took a hundred bucks off. That's a great deal. That's too cheap already, but he's negotiating. Um, Apparently he had somebody quote 199 and then they never responded. Hmm. Wonder why they never responded. Interesting. Uh, but you know, whatever, obviously he wants a deal. I get it. So basically I said, I uh, completely understand. I've got to use chemical, man. I'm not making money at that price. I'll tell you what, if we can do 225, um, or I'll do 225 if you agree to leave a five star review afterwards. So anytime you give a discount, you got to give a reason. I gave two discounts in this, which normally I wouldn't do, but I did, and I gave a reason both times. And so that's 225. So that brings our total up to uh what 775 off $150 of ad spend. So not too shabby, but also not too great. What's important to note there is that with this offer, I'm using a hook. And so $199 driveway and uh, front walkway clean special, that's just a hook, right? Once I show up to the property, uh, now I'm going to ask about their house. Hey, your gutters are kind of, hey, your siding's dirty. Hey, this, 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 this. Probably, I would say at least two of the three jobs will end up being over a $400 ticket because, but that last dude, I don't know. I don't know if I'm upselling him on anything, but, um, yeah, the, the other two, I, I'm fairly confident that I'll be able to upsell them Either way, I'm going to have to upcharge. And, I mean, here's just a list I put together of all the things you can upsell. We're doing these two, right? And so, you know, there's a lot of potential room to make a sale there. And since they're already showing interest in getting their home cleaned, or their driveway cleaned, they're probably going to want other things on the property cleaned as well. And so, uh, I don't know if you guys watched my last video, but when you're using Facebook ads, you want to throw a hook in there, right? Get the leads show up to the house and that's when you go ahead and hit them with the upsell and then after you uh upsell them get a higher ticket then you ask for a review and then you ask for a referral and then you hit the five closest houses with a postcard and let them know uh or give them a way to reach out to you as well and so basically that 700 or 775 will probably end up being more like 1200 and then I, probably one of those customers will land me another job uh, so, you know, that's how you maximize business, um, doing those strategies afterwards. But yeah, the, the first step is actually getting in the door. And so that's why you throw a hook with some crazy Facebook ad deal. So if you guys are interested in me setting up your ads and a whole bunch of other stuff, I have a program below. I'd at least check it out. Even if you uh, don't think you'd be interested, it's a ton of value for the price. So anyways, with that, I will see you guys in the next video.